It's time to start your engines for a bucketless road trip to Canada's spectacular Northwest Territories. Your journey to the Arctic Ocean begins on the Dempster Highway, 40 kilometers east of Dawson City, Yukon. The Dempster winds 737 kilometers through dramatic alpine landscapes and across the Mackenzie River Delta to Inuvik. From there, you continue on an otherworldly 140-kilometer drive on Canada's northernmost public road that ends right at the shores of the Arctic Ocean. This journey of a lifetime will take you through three stunning mountain ranges, over iconic rivers, across the Arctic Circle, above the tree line, and over a boundless horizon of pristine rolling tundra. It's important to be prepared for this epic road trip. Fuel up whenever possible and make sure your vehicle is in good working order. Learn where you will and won't have cell phone coverage and carry a spare tire or two and a jerry can of gas. Before you leave Dawson City, check in at the Northwest Territories Visitor Information Center. Here, the friendly staff will point you to helpful information services you can access along the way, including updates on highway conditions and ferry crossing schedules. Also, stock up on your favorite road trip snacks as there won't be a store until you reach Eagle Plains or Fort McPherson. Heading north on the Dempster, the first stop is Tombstone Territorial Campground, 72 kilometers down the highway. Set up camp for the day or night or join guided walks and campfire talks with friendly park staff during the summer months. When you are ready to get rolling again, stop at kilometer 117 to see the plaque dedicated to the man for whom the highway is named, Sergeant W.J.B. Dempster. Here you can learn about how he led a team in search of the Lost Patrol back in 1911. Engineer Creek Campground at kilometer 194 is an ideal place to settle in for the evening. Here you will find fresh water and a kitchen shelter. Cross the Ogilvy River Bridge on your way to Ogilvy Peel Viewpoint. Stop to stretch your legs and take in the sweeping mountain vista. Carrying on towards Eagle Plains, you can observe the drunken forests, where melting permafrost gives trees like the black spruce a less than upright appearance. At kilometer 369, you will reach Eagle Plains, which means you are now halfway to Inuvik. Take a well-deserved rest at the iconic Eagle Plains Hotel, where you can enjoy a meal and refreshments at the licensed restaurant and lounge. In Eagle Plains, you'll find a full-service garage and gas station. You can also plug in your RV or pitch a tent at the campground and relax for the evening. From here, the Dempster Highway takes you through the Richardson Mountain Range and into the massive Mackenzie River Delta. Keep your eyes peeled for grizzlies ambling across the mountain slopes and moose plodding through the swamplands. You may even see caribou grazing in the distance. Less than an hour out of Eagle Plains at kilometer 405, you cross into the Arctic Circle. The famous Arctic Circle signpost is the perfect place to mark this milestone with a photo. 60 kilometers from here, you'll see another important signpost, the Yukon and NWT border. This marks the end of Yukon's Highway 5 and the beginning of NWT Highway 8, putting you at Northwest Territories kilometer zero. It's time to get out and stretch your legs. Your next stop is Midway Lake. If you are traveling through on the first weekend in August, drop in to enjoy the Midway Lake Music Festival. The festival attracts old time fiddlers and features local bands. Enjoy fantastic food and fine local crafts. When you reach NWT Kilometer 71, pull over at Tetlit Gwinjek Lookout for a magnificent view of the Richardson Mountains and the Mackenzie Delta. Just a few kilometers farther and you cross the Peel River to Fort McPherson on the Abraham Francis Ferry. This free ferry operates from early June to late October. If you are traveling in winter, you can cross over a winter ice road. Next, the Natayin Lai Territorial Park is just inward from the Peel River. Surrounded by stands of white birch and white spruce trees, it is a scenic place to stop and unwind before traveling on. The visitor center offers a fascinating glimpse of Gwich'in Dene life, past and present. In the summer, you will find campsites, drinking water, a kitchen shelter, a picnic area, and welcoming staff. 
Fort McPherson is a small Gwich'in community and the final resting place of the tragic Lost Patrol. It is also home to the Fort McPherson Tent and Canvas Company. Check out the uniquely northern, not to mention sturdy, canvas bags and backpacks made locally and take a self-guided tour of the community. Stationed on top of a commanding bluff at the confluence of the Mackenzie and Arctic Red River is the community of Tsigachik. Enjoy a stroll along the riverbanks, check out the visitor center, and tour a picturesque 80-year-old church. To get to Sigachik, take the Lewis Cardinal Ferry in summer or drive across the Mackenzie River Ice Road in winter. Your next stop is the Gwich'in Territorial Park, an 8,800 hectare park, which includes two campgrounds, two day use areas, and the Tithigachi Vitai Lookout and Hiking Trail. The park is home to a number of the natural wonders of the Mackenzie Delta region. Limestone cliffs, rare Arctic plants, migratory bird staging areas, and Campbell Lake, an excellent example of a reversing delta. Closer to Anubik is Chuck Territorial Park, where an observation tower provides prime bird watching opportunities and excellent views of the surrounding scenery. Now you are just a short drive from the town of Anubik, a regional center and gateway to other Western Arctic communities. Inuvik is home to approximately 3,400 people, and here you will find hotels, restaurants, galleries, a variety of tour providers, and a large community greenhouse that takes advantage of summer's midnight sun. One of the North's most famed and photographed structures is Inuvik's Our Lady of Victory Church. Watch for the Igloo Church, a prominent snow-white cylinder capped by a shiny silvery dome designed to represent the Inuvialuit snow houses of old. Go inside to see beautiful paintings by local artist, Mona Thrasher. Inuvik is located on the traditional land of the Inuvialuit, Gwich'in, and Métis, making it a great place to learn about the area's cultural diversity. Inuvik's rich tapestry is reflected in festivals and community events, as well as the arts and crafts you can find here. In summer, you won't want to miss the Great Northern Arts Festival, which showcases the work of Northern artists and provides opportunities to participate in art demonstrations and workshops. In winter, celebrate the return of the sun at the Sunrise Festival or spring's arrival at the Muskrat Jamboree. There are lots of local tourism operators who can arrange a tour to make your stay here more memorable. No stop in Inuvik is complete without a visit to the Western Arctic Regional Visitor Center. Open from May to September, you can get updates on local events, highway conditions, cell phone coverage, and find out about all the great things to see in the region and along the Inuvik to Tuktaaktuk Highway. When you're ready for the last stretch of your journey, leave Anuvik to wind your way through 140 kilometers from the Mackenzie Delta, past the tree line, around the Husky Lakes, across beautiful Pingo-dotted tundra to reach the Arctic Ocean at Tuktoyuktuk. Since the official opening of the Anuvik to Tuktoyuktuk Highway in November 2017, this public highway has connected Canada by road from coast to coast to Arctic coast. Upon your arrival in Tuktoyaktuk, you will see Ibyuk, Canada's highest and the world's second tallest pingo. At 49 meters in height and 300 meters across its base, this navigational landmark was a lookout used by Inuvialuit and their ancestors to scout game, whales, ice conditions, and to prepare to welcome visitors. Visit the Trans-Canada Monument located at the point and take a picture with the Arctic Ocean sign and check out the nearby sod houses. In Tuktoyaktuk, you will find a space for overnight camper and RV parking, a visitor center, and public washrooms. Some small local restaurants and kitchens offer meals and refreshments, and you can find beautiful traditional Inuvialuit arts and crafts to purchase. There are stores where you can buy propane and groceries you will need for the trip home. Your journey to the Arctic Ocean is nearly complete. You will discover this spectacular territory and as you reach Canada's Arctic Ocean and touch your toes in the crisp, cold water, you will discover something about yourself. You are now in rare company. Your heart will be touched by a land of Arctic icons. Your spirit will be warmed by the welcome that you receive from the Gwich'in and Nuvialuit and Métis who have thrived on this land for ages. When you leave, be sure to take your Arctic Ocean certificate home. It is available at the Visitor's Information Center or through local guided tours. It will be a keepsake of your epic journey, a trip you will want to make again soon.